hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel as you must be aware um i create a playlist regarding uh, power system protection and there are uh, several of videos in this playlist uh, related with different aspects about uh, power system protections um, the most recent videos has been dedicated of working with real relays i mean uh, having uh, more hands on on the protection systems okay and as you must be aware um we have been working with a very specific relay the abb ref 630 um you will remember that uh, we already we already uh, work around that that relay and also uh, we prepare the wiring for energizing that that relay okay uh, mm, mm, i would like to express my gratitude to abb because because they they have been supporting my kitchen activities and and they provide this uh, ref 630 okay Ref 630 is a relay that is coming from the Reliom family, okay? And as you must remember, this relay is basically a, a, a feeder protection relay, okay? What I will do today is um, this, this relay, this ID, the Ref 630, have the possibility of uh, connecting uh, to a remote computer and, and from there you can you can do very very amazing things okay uh, and to be honest uh, what I will do today is I will do download and install the software that is called the, the PCM 600 okay the PCM 600 is basically uh, a software that is dedicated for mana managing the Relayum IDs, okay? It's basically for protection and control ID management, okay? That is the idea of this of these software, the PCM600. Uh, the PCM600 are allowed a very efficient functionality for application, configuration, and communication, okay? Uh, and also, this the PCM 600 is quite quite interesting and quite good because it is compliant with the IC 61850. Okay, and 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 that will be a topic that is very interesting for us in the future videos. Okay, the implementation and the use of the IC 61850. But coming back to the PCM600, the PCM600 is basically a graphical environment that allowing you um, establish communication with the IED in order, for instance, to define protection settings, uh, protection parameter settings, but also allow you to uh, allow you to do more like uh, monitor measurements and and signal statuses and and also reading and analysis of disturbance recording okay um i will not spend so much time right now about the pcm 600 explanation because i will run a video just for uh, explaining the environment and then we will connect the the pcm 600 with or uh, ref 630 and establish the communication okay the idea is that my young students they can they can learn uh, more about the practical stuff that they will find in the field um, when you go to the field you need to create the communication between the real relay and the uh, and, and your computer in order to prepare settings to check data and for this for this family of products that the rely on um, PCM 600 is making the job okay well uh, today I have more practical stuff and what I will do now what I will do now is I will go to internet okay well what I have done is just a basic um, a basic search on Google uh, using as a searching phrase ABD software library and as you can see over here at the top, you will you will find that the 
First option over here is the ABB Substation Automation Software Library Home. And I will select that one and I will go there, okay? As you can see over here, as you can see over here, you arrive to the software library from ABB. You can see here at the top the, the website uh, name and, and they say, welcome to ABB. And here in this website, what you can follow is basically, what you can find is basically the ABB uh, software library, okay? Uh, for for substation automate automation okay um i will agree to the cookies okay and i need to log in uh, if if you are not registered uh, there is a link below that you need to follow in order to um register and get access to this uh web page okay what I will do now is I will use my login, FG Longat. Of course, I will use my password that I already know, okay? And at this moment, as you can see over here, as you can see over here, uh, I am inside the ABB uh, software library location. And what I want to do is find some software and I go here to the link on the left library and you can find here the most recent version for the softwares that uh, are the, the software that is used for superstation automation okay and and the top here you will find is the P pcm uh, 600 installation package okay as today we are in may 2020 uh, as you can see here, the most recent version that you can find is the 2.10, the 2.10. That is the most recent version that you can find. And in this case, uh, this version, um, it's, it's available for downloading, okay? Um, if you press here, if you press here, what, what you will see is that um, the website will open a, a web page. And over there, they will tell you, okay, if you want to download this uh, software, you need software validation, okay? Uh, sorry, email validation. Email validation means that ABB will send you a link uh, to your email in order that you can download, you can directly download the file from that link, okay? Um, in this case, there is a confirmation that the field name will be, the file name will be the PCM 600 version 2.10 and the file that you will let download, it will be the PCM, the PCM 600, mm, okay? Um, then you press here in this button and you will receive an email from ABB uh, giving you the direct link, okay? Um, I will not do this because I already did and I already download the installer, okay? But here, coming back to the library, there are more information. There is an installation guide that you, you can download, also getting a started guide. And there are some other documents that I highly suggest that you download, okay? Well, now what you can see is uh, I download the PCM 600 and I, I downloaded the file and I put on my desktop. And over here, what you can see is that um, I download the, the ABB Protection and Control ID Manager, the PCM 600. And in this case is the version 2.10. Uh, you can see that is 428 megabytes, okay? Um, my plan now is I will install this software in my computer, okay? And it's very simple. You just need to do double click. And when you do double click, uh, you receive this uh, welcoming uh, setup uh, page. 
Um, quite interesting over here. There is a photo. I, I assume that is a worker, a ABB worker, and he must be really proud for ABB because he has his photo here at the setup. And what I need to do is agree with the license terms and condition. And then I will also um, accept to take uh, part into the life cycle, ABB uh, life cycle service tool, okay? Now what I will do is say install, and as you can see, there is a bar here, a progress bar, that is showing uh, the progress about the installation, okay? Um, Mm, what I will do at the moment is I would like to tell you uh, mm, some more things about the 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 the, the PCM 600. Okay, uh, the PCM 600 is basically a very versatile uh, uh, a very versatile tool for ID management. Okay, and and it's very fast in terms of using the TCP/IP protocol. Uh, using a corporate uh, local area network or a wide area uh, network, okay? Um, um, basically, uh, this software allow many features. One of them is a very interesting uh, and easy tool for configurating the ID and also for monitoring applications, okay? Um, the software is highly graphic and as consequence allow to prepare the settings and and, and, and and simplify the settings of the protection functions using graphical functionalities. Um, also, uh, this software allow the configuration of the ID hardware and, uh, and the ID display using just this uh, communication by the TCP IP, okay? There are many, many other uh, functionalities like receiving signals from the ID or, or uh, even integrating disturbance recording functionalities, okay? Um, but uh, as I said before, um, I will, I will uh, cover more details about the PCM600 in a very specific video but that must be later after this installation, okay? What I will do now, because the installation can take few minutes or even more than few minutes, what I will do now is I will start, I will st uh, stop here talking and I will allow the video to move on and then I will edit the video and I will increase the speed, okay? In order to avoid you uh, be annoyed for my speech here, okay? Okay, right now uh, we have a successful setup and well, that's been the uh, setup of the PCM 600. Well, as you can see, the installation of the PCM 600 it was successful and it's done. And what I will do now is I will work with this other file over here, okay? Uh, and this file, as you can see, is basically the hot fits. And this is um, another uh, another software that is coming with the uh, the PCM uh, 600. Okay, what I will do is I will agree with the license and the life si as life cycle service tool, and I will say, okay, let's do this. And right now. Um, uh, what is happening is that the installer is 
basically installing the the ID manager inside my computer. Okay, let's wait a few more minutes and see uh, what 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 will be the the situation here. Okay. Okay, what I will do now is I will take the option by default that is close the application and restart then, okay? That is what is happening now. And there is some setup progress indicated in the progress bar over there. And let's see what is next. Okay, installation successful. And what I will do now is I will start the PCM 600. And over here you can see that the PCM 600 version 2.10 is starting up and is loading the configurations and um, right now is asking for the name of the administrator account okay well at this moment over here we have open the PCM 600 as you can see over here is already installed and is ready to use okay uh, at this moment I will stop this video because uh, this video was basically uh, downloading the application downloading the PCM 600 and installing that okay uh, in a future video, in the comment video, uh, what I will do is um, prepare uh, the, the PCM 600 in order to make the connection between the, between the, the ID, the REF 630, and establish the communication using uh, a local area network, okay? Um, this is all for today and uh, thank you very much for watching the video. I would like to say thank you to ABB for the strong support and I hope this, this video uh, will help uh, people to follow my steps and be learning bit a bit about um, protection systems, okay? Thank you very much for watching the video. See you very soon in the next one. Thank you. Bye now.